Hello everyone, welcome back to Angina's Creations. In today's tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to customize your own snow globe. These are great gifts, especially for Christmas time or for your own house decor. So let's get started with this video. For your supplies, you're gonna need your DIY snow globe. I got this snow globe from Amazon and it's only $13.99. With this snow globe, you can design the bottom and the top. On the top, you could put two images, one in the front and also one in the back. A good thing about this snow globe is that it's not glass on the top. So if one of your kids accidentally drop it, it's not going to break. Now, don't get me wrong. The bottom might break, but it's also plastic. But as you can see, the top is not glass. You're going to need your paper of choice. I'll be using cardstock just because I like how um, thicker it is. But if you only have plain paper, go ahead and use plain paper. If you don't own a cutting machine, you could just cut by hand. Today, I'll be using Silhouette Studio. And I always say if you don't own a cutting machine, you can still use the software to design. And then you're going to print and, and cut it by hand. If you don't have a printer at home, just save it and print somewhere else. I will explain that all further along. Um, you're going to need the template for the bottom piece. Now you could buy the template on my website. If you don't want to purchase my template, then I recommend you uh, measuring the bottom and then doing your own template. But if you don't have the time for that, then just feel free to go to my website, andrinascreations.com, and purchase my template. So let's get started. First thing you need to do is open up your software and then you need to go all the way to your right and the first icon is a paper that is your page setup where it says media size you need to change it to 8 by 11 because that is the paper size you are going to be using um, and then your machine leave it on regular and cutting mat on 12 by 12 or 12 by 24 now if you don't own a cutting machine you can still use this software to um, design your template for your snow globe and then the only thing you're gonna have to do is you're going to print it to your printer and then you're gonna have to cut it by hand so don't think because you don't own this cutting machine that you cannot use this software yes you can I do it all the time I design and I print and cut by hand the orientation I'm going to leave it on portrait and then I know sometimes people say well why do you see your white paper and I can't right here on transparency on your page setup I have it on zero some people have it on 100 so I have mine on zero I have the show print border on so I could see where the print border is going to stop now if you purchase my template all you have to do is go on my website to andrinascreations.com and purchase the snow globe template and after you download it and save it to your computer you're going to go to file you're going to go to merge and then you're going to look for wherever you save your template now you are able to do this in Cricut, but the only thing is that Cricut has printing limitations and you're not going to be able to print this with Cricut because the whole template is almost 11 inches in width. Again, you can download this software for free. You just have to check down the description down below. I have a different um, tutorial on how to download Silhouette for free and basic edition is free. But I do use Business Edition. Business Edition just means that I could do more in here. And it is a one-time payment. And right now, it's on sale for $48. And I have several videos on how to do all that. Okay? So check down below. Now, this is your template. You're going to design this however you want. If you're gifting it, if you're selling it, it's totally up to you. Now, I'm going to be doing this for my household. And this year, 2020, we're having a Grinch-themed decor in my house. So the first thing you need to do is look for your images. I just went to Google or Bing. And I typed in Grinch Wallpaper HD. I'm going to click on the one that I like. Now, because I have business, business edition, I could right click and copy and paste into Silhouette. But if you have a uh, designer edition or design designer edition or a basic edition, you have to right click and save this to your computer. So I'm going to right click on my image 
and I'm going to center back just so I can see where it is. Now, while it's like that, I can see my template. I'm going to click somewhere here around my screen and I'm going to drag my mouse, not letting go of my mouse to make sure that I have the image and the template selected. I'm going to go over here to my modify panel on my right and I'm going to click on crop. Now my image is inside of my template. The front of your snow globe that you're going to be seeing your design, it's around three inches. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my shapes on my left, click on my rectangle, make any size rectangle on my screen, and on my top right here while my rectangle is selected, on my width, I'm going to type three inches. It don't matter about the height. I just need to make sure that it is three inches in width. I'm going to color it black so you are able to see it. And by any means, if you cannot see your width and height here on the toolbar, then go to your transform panel. Transform panel, you're going to see on your second option where it says scale, you're going to see your width and height. I don't have mine locked, okay? So I will click somewhere here on my screen and select them, drag my mouse, do not let go of your mouse, and select both, the rectangle that you did and your template. Now you're gonna go to your, again, to your transform panel, and you're going to click on center, the second option that says center, just because I want to make sure that this is centered in my template. I'm gonna select my rectangle, and I'm going to use my arrow keys on my keyboard to bring it up. This is just a reference that anything I add to my template has to say right here in three inches. So when I display my snow globe, you're able to see the center. So I don't, I'm not going to write all around my template because it's, you're not going to be able to see all that in the back. So I'm gonna to go to the A on my left, A on my right, select the um, font that you want to use and you could download free fonts from the font.com. I'm going to go to my paint fill option. That is the paint palette on your right. And I'm going to select a color. I'm going to click anywhere on my screen and I'm going to start typing. Click somewhere else on your screen so you could get off the edit mode. Click back on your font. Go back to the A on your left and center it. Okay. Now, remember, stay in your reference so you're going to use the little squares so you are able to put it in the center and resize it. As you can see, I'm right here on my three inch mark. Now I'm going to add an offset to this just so it can stand out a little bit more. So an offset is the icon that looks like a double star on your right. Make sure your font is selected. I'm going to click on offset and right here where it says distance, you can play with the distance that you would like. While you like the distance that it shows, you're going to go back to your fill option. That is the paint palette on your right and you're going to color it the color you would like. If you look closely, closely, your um, lines have an outline color and I don't want that. So your outline panel is under your fill panel. And then right here on the color option, I'm going to click on where it says the no color option. That is a color that you're going to see like lines going across it. Okay, so I'm going to click there and I don't have no color. I'm also going to click on the word Merry Christmas and do the same thing, no color. I'm gonna hold down my shift key, holding down my letter, holding down my offset, right click and group it together, okay? Now you are able to move your offset and your letters together. Okay, 
from here you can still add more images so what i did was i went to google and i looked up grinch pngs pngs means that it's a transparent background so all you have to do is click on the image you will like and when you see that it has uh, gray and white rectangles in the back that means it is a transparent background so you, you need to right click and save this to your computer then you will go to your silhouette you're going to go to file you're going to go to merge and look up wherever you save those images click on the image and click on ok then you're going to get um, your image and you're going to place your images wherever you want. Try to stay in your three inch mark. I'm going to click on my words, right click and bring to front just so the hand looks like it's coming out through the back. Now as you can see, this face of Grinch has a white background. How do you remove the white background in silhouette? All you have to do, oh and also a tip, you are able to work all around your area. You don't only have to be working specifically on your um mat area you have all this extra space up here is a zoom in and zoom out button so that's the minus and the plus if you zoom out you have all this area you could work on so let me just zoom in a little bit now there is a trace panel on your right that is one two three four that is the icon number five you're going to click where it says select trace area you're going to draw a box around your image wait till it turns yellow bring up your threshold to make sure that all your entire outline turns yellow that's your most concern that all around your outline turns yellow then click on trace and detach click on the white area click delete on your keyboard and that's it so now i am going to put the grinch where i want him to be Okay, after you're done designing this, you're going to click some somewhere here on your screen, drag your mouse to make sure you select everything on your template, right click and group it together. And you are done with that part of the template. Now you need to make sure you grab your images for the inside of your globe. So all you need to do is you're going to make, go get a shape, on, get a rectangle shape on your left make any size rectangle on your screen the width is going to be two and then the height is going to be three so it's going to be a two by three so that you're going to need two images all you need to do is i'm going to put a background on this as well
So right click copy if you have business edition and paste. I'm going to drag my mouse on both. Go to the modify panel and click on crop. Now if you have business edition, you can go to your fill pattern. Click here on your third option as patterns where it says scale, scale it down. And you will see your pattern get filled up like that. Okay, so right here in scale. Again, it's your fill pattern that looks like a paint palette. You have three options. Go on the pattern option, click on advanced options, and where it says scale, scale it down or scale it up. I scale mine down. Okay, now if you have your images saved on your computer, just go to file, go to merge, and then look for the pictures that you have saved. Center it, you're gonna have to hold your mouse, drag your mouse over it, let it go. Go to your transform panel and you have two options here where it says center. So the first one is center to page. The second one is just centering both stuff together and this is centered. I'm going to click on the background, right click and duplicate. And the first one I'm going to group it together so it can move together. And now I'm going to add another picture because I'm adding All right, and you are done. So, I'm gonna put these on the side. As you can see, your template is not going to fit like this or it's not going to fit straight. So all you have to do is curve your template. You have a green button here that you can move it around like this. See? Because if you try to put it straight, it's not going to fit. So just leave it curved so it can fit all in the page. Add your two images that you also want to insert. And from here, you are ready to print. All you need to do is, now, if you do own a cutting machine and you want your machine to cut this, your first icon on your right is your page setup. Go to the third option, turn on your registration marks, and where it says thickness, I will bring that up. Just make sure that your template, it's not touching your uh, registration marks. Also, you need to turn on your cut border, as you can see. Now, anything that's outside of your cut border, your machine is not going to cut. It makes a red rectangle, and anything that's outside of it, it's not. your machine's not gonna cut it. All you have to do is go with your scissors, okay? Um, so remember to turn on your uh, cut border, turn on your registration marks. I'm just going to cut this out by hand, so I'm going to turn off my registration marks. I have everything there. Right here you have the printer icon. You're going to select it. You're going to click on print. You're going to click on the printer that you are using, and it says preferences. I like to print on paper type premium presentation paper mat. I owned a Workforce Inkjet 7710 and a 7720, and these are the settings that I like to use. I'll click on OK and print. If you don't have a printer at home or you are selling these digital files or you're sending this to a customer or whoever, if you have Business Edition, you have to save this as a PDF file. You go to File, you go to Save As, save to hard drive, save as type, PDF, make sure you're saving it in a folder that you're not going to figure it, and name your file. If you don't have business edition, I also have a separate tutorial on how to save it when you don't have business edition as a PDF file, which is you will go to your printer icon, you will click on print, and up here where you're gonna select your printer, you need to uh, select 
um, Microsoft print to PDF. Also, if you don't have Microsoft, you're going to click on, where is it? It's called PDF converter, which I don't have it on my laptop. I have it on my desktop, but just check down below that other uh, video where I showed that you need to download PDF um, creator and stuff like that. But if you already have Microsoft Word in your laptop or your computer, you can also uh, save it as a print to Microsoft print to PDF. OK, if you only have basic edition, so you're going to click on that. Microsoft print to PDF and then when you click on print it's going to save as a PDF and then you could go to your local printing shop or send that PDF to your customer all right hope that makes sense so now I'm going to print and then I'll be right back on putting everything together okay so here is my image printed and all I have to do is cut it all out and I'm going to be using my scissors okay after you cut everything now it's time to put everything in your snow globe now this snow globe, you have to pull the top good enough. Now I had already um, kind of pulled it before the video. It has Velcro, so as soon as you get out the box, you might think it doesn't want to pull off. But just, you know, tug on a little bit. And then in here, you're going to have a little tab that all you have to do is pull it. And then the these little inserts are going to come out. So do not throw this away because this is where you're going to add your images. So you're just going to put one in the front and one in the back. And then you're going to put it right back in here. And you could just put your fingers in and make sure that your images are pushed in all the way. So as you can see, if you don't push it all the way, it's going to look like that. You see the, the negative space on the top? So just make sure you push all the way up, okay? Once you have your images all the way to the top, you can see everything. So this part is done. Now, what you need to do is, here, you're gonna grab this piece, you're gonna turn it around, and then these little tabs, you need to make sure you have them pushed in here, like that. Then you're going to pull this apart. Just pull it out. This DIY globe comes with extra pieces that you can use for the bottom, as you can see. But if you want to print out your own stuff, then that's perfectly fine as well. Now, what I like to do is I like to bend this just a little bit, like just like so it could grab the curve. Also, I'm going to show you a trick. If you put this in here by itself, just go with the roundness, put it in here, make sure it's all the way down. You're going to see that it doesn't go all the way up, like it's going to fall, as you can see. See? I like mine to be flushed all the way to the top, if that makes any sense. Probably it's just me with my little OCD that I like everything to look good. So, as look, so when you have it, it might come down just a little bit. You see that? So, what I like to do is I will still use all these and I will put it behind my original image just so it could be more thicker and it could be flushed in there. Okay? So, all the inserts are back here. You see that? Then I'm going to grab it and I'm going to put it in here. Now make sure that the part that goes in the front stays in the front. But you could also rotate it once it's here. You know your snow globe goes like this. With the one vertical in the front, one vertical in the back. So whatever you want in the front, make sure that you have it there. Okay?
just with your fingers, just push your, your design to the top, all the way to the top. have mine's place in the front I just rotate it and this is how it looks all around and it's nice and flush all the way to the top you don't need you don't need to leave the other inserts inside I just like to because it leaves it flush and it doesn't drop down now you're going to insert the bottom again just line it up once everything is pushed in now move them to the side to lock it. Now that is locked, right? And now you're going to put this on the top. Make sure the Velcro is on there. And you are done, see? All right, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It was very easy to do. If you like this video, please give me a big thumbs up and comment down below what, what is the best part of this video or what other videos would you like to see from me. Again, thank you so much for all the people that have been subscribing. We are on the road to 35K before the year ends. If you haven't subscribed yet, please go ahead and subscribe and click on the notification bell. Also, if you don't follow me on Facebook and Instagram, please do so at Andrina's Creations. And if you're not in my crafting group, it is called Andrina's Creations Crafting Lounge on Facebook. Feel free to join over there. Everybody gets along there. Everybody posts their craft ideas or everything they have learned from all around YouTube. And I really, really appreciate it. All right, guys. Talk to you guys later. And I hope everyone has a blessed day. Bye-bye.